Now, before I get into copy and paste, I do want to point out that on this particular timeline, I've got a couple ambience tracks that I would actually like to pull together. Uh, but right now, I don't have any way of rearranging audio tracks on the Fairlight page. To do this, I just want to point it out because it's probably something you're going to find yourself needing to do when you first move into the Fairlight page. You can always rearrange your tracks back on the edit page. If you right click in the track header of any track, you can go ahead and choose move track up or move track down. And that transposes the tracks. The tracks are renumbered, so they're always numbered in order. But the name remains the same and all of the content of that track goes ahead and moves up as you would want it to. So now when I go back to the Fairlight page, I've got my ambience tracks neatly lined up. These are yellow, so I'll go ahead and change the track color of that top ambience track to yellow. And now I'm all set to show you cut, copy, and paste. So here's how cut, copy, and paste works, and it's at its most powerful, in my opinion, in range selection mode, although you can certainly do it in overall selection mode as well. But looking at this timeline, I've got this mid-bass textured presence clip, and it's not quite long enough to cover this whole scene. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to copy part of this and fill this empty gap. So what I can do is go into range selection mode, select track A3, and I can actually do this all from the keyboard. So I'll go ahead and just use JKL to move over this clip. And I'm going to solo this track because I want to hear what's on it. It's a pretty indistinct rumbling sound. So I'm going to press I to set an in point. And now I'm going to roll through to about there and set an out point. And as soon as I set that out point, you can see that I've selected this chunk of the audio. So at this point, I can use JKL to move back inside the clip. And this is actually an important step in this procedure. Now that I've selected the range of what I want to cut or copy, now I want to move the playhead to the position in the clip that I want to use to effectively drag that clip by. And this is because as soon as I press Command C to copy that clip, my highlight state has changed. And it's changed because I've actually picked that part of the clip up. And now I'm moving it with the playhead using JKL. And you can see that I'm moving it at the frame where the playhead happened to be when I either copied or cut. So basically I can move this around and try to line it up wherever I think I want it to be. Now I'm noticing I've got a bit of a gap there, but at this point I don't really care. I'm just gonna paste it right there. Command V then pastes this in place. Now if I undo and try that again, I'll move it right there. I'll do a copy. This time I'm going to paste it with a bit of an overlap. And when I do that, you can see that I've overwritten just the tail end of that clip. But what I really want to do is have a bit of a crossfade. And of course now I can pull the tail end out and I have exactly what I need. If you want to learn more about Resolve's new features, you should check out my library of different training titles at rippletraining.com.